It's week four of the 2024 season, and we've got the Panthers, veteran tight end. He comes in second in the NFL in touchdown receptions. It's the Panthers and the Bengals coming up next. Once called Carolina's Stadium, it now goes by Bank of America Stadium. Or more simply, the vault as we're here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hello, everybody. Alongside Brock Hewitt, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, just about everything, Kate. But these are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will they be? When will they be? Two men in one. 25. So now out comes the Panther offense for its initial drive of the game. Bringing him out. Coming off a tough rookie season as the top pick in the 2023 draft is Bryce Young. You know, Kate, sometimes they say great quarterbacks are like great point guards. And much like we measure point guards. So here come the Bengals, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by a motivated player coming off an injury. One of the game's great young QBs, Joe Burrow. As you're running onto the field with this kind of field position as a quarterback, you're reminded yourself and your huddle. Hey, let's be disciplined. They're headed up the middle. And he'll bring it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals take a 6-0 lead in the first quarter. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone. For Down a couple more chances to make up for it. Here's second and 11. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. And he makes the half go. It's a touchdown on the pick six. He not only broke on it to make the pick, Brock, but he was on the move real quick. No, in short field. There's a great chance that he could take that one back for a touchdown. That's exactly right. In this area of the field, an offense really only gets a second or two to react to that pick and get over and cut off his lanes. And if you don't, well, it's six the other way. Offense trying to add to the defensive effort and turn six points into eight. The Panthers will line up for the two-point conversion. He's throwing for it. And he reaches the end zone. And they'll be up to a seven-point lead. All things going their way through the air at the moment, partner. They pick off a throw for six, and then they complete pass of their own to add on two more. Can I be honest with you here, Kate? <laughs> and maybe I'm a bad person for saying this, but every once in a while, I root for... Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. He's going to loft one deep to the left. Brought in inside the 20. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati! The Bengals can tie it up after hitting Pater in the third. It's a Jamar Chase touchdown. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. So now that they've taken the lead, the question be... Burrow. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. It's a Jamar Chase touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player. Time today, we see them setting up for a field goal. It's on the left hash, 46 yards out. The field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one is no... 
And that leads certainly. Now to throw. And that's good yardage for the new set. Throwing now. Got a man. It's Kasiki. And this is down to the 28. Force of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. Complete over the middle. And he's brought down. 11, 11, 11, 11, MP, tight. To throw. 11, MP, tight. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals, barring a miracle, will win this game. Absolutely clutch score. Well, we knew this was coming. All touchdowns are reviewed, especially late in a Previous close game play like is this. Under review. All right, Brock. So six points hinge on whether he secured that football without it hitting the ground. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. Most defensive-minded head coaches, when there's a score at play here, points at play on the board, you're gonna take the risk and make this challenge. And they'll kneel this one down. So the Bengals take this one on the road. And this was the type of response you always hope to see after a loss, Brock. Get right back out there and find a way to win the following week. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Bengals emerge as winners as we say so long from Charlotte. Guys.